I, uh, I just wondered if you'd like to uh, watch me peeling this off and uh, you should be able to find out what it is now. So let's give it a go and see what we got, right? Okay, so first one off. All these bits, they just stick on. If you get the first layer of printing right, um, the rest will just follow suit perfectly well, as long as everything is set up properly. Okay, so the bed is, is bendable so all the bits come off like this after you've printed them there you go and just do all this in real time and then you can see exactly what is uh, taking place these might be a little bit difficult because they're little end caps yeah I'll have to get those off with a scraper then I'll show you how I Put it all together, okay? And then you'll know then what it is. Okay, so here we have all the bits. And let's just see what we've got and where do we start. So this bit here, these two bits here will go like that. Hope you can see this. Yeah, and then a long pin will go through there. So let's just try that now now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the reference that's not a long pin that's a medium pin there's the long pin there I'll go to my reference thing now there's the long pin that's that one that goes through there all right so uh, next is um, that will go over there this one here will go like this, okay, and then through there will be a short pin, which is this one, that will go through there, with a bit of luck, yeah, it does, and then we have on here, we have this one, which is this, which will go through there, with another pin I'm not sure if you can see it okay so we have a this one and another pin so let's try and get these together so that and that with that through there let's see if we can do this I hope I've got the right size pins printed otherwise I'm going to end up printing more pins let's just see um that will go through there yep that fits that fits that one fits there it is and then here we have another pin which will go through there there we go and what we need to do now is to turn the whole lot over and fit the um, fit the caps, which I printed as well. So here are the caps. So there's the first one. Ah, come on. Squeeze on in. That's one. Nah. Let's put this end. No, I think I'll put these two on first. So there's one there. Come on, squeeze on. I might have to squeeze them on with a kind of a pliers thing. And there. Is that going on? That one clipped, I think. Yeah. And the top one will have to go on last. Get that to go on. Oh, that exploded. <laughs> but at least I know where everything goes. So there's that, that, that. So that needs a pin on it. No, it's the wrong way around. But it doesn't really matter which way around they go. As long as you've got the the pins in there, because the heads look the same both sides. So here we go. That's that one on. 
that one on, that one on. Now just put another squeeze. And then the last one is the top one, which is that one. Click together, and here we are. You're gonna say, what is that? Can you see now? Can you see now what it is, boys and girls? It's something that so if you had something like this on the floor, now you just hang this from a bit of rope. So if you had something like this on the floor, no matter what size it is, put that underneath it, and it should, with a bit of luck, let's just get this right, pick it up. It's a bit heavy this, but let's just I'll go over it and pick it up. Can you see? I know help that a bit. But it's on my lap. There you go. Clever, eh? So I'm just going to clip these things together now a bit more tight. Oh, there it goes. I think that's in better. Yeah. And that one. The same. Push that in. That. Not very really strong in my fingers and hands. But you get the idea then. Well, I hope you do. So it's a, a grappling hook. Can you see? It just simply goes down, grabs hold, and pulls it up, whatever it is. 3D printed. Thanks a lot. Now, yeah, let's get you up here. Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you again. Bye.